Hello, fine folks. It's your teacher here, ready to present you with another fun night of mathematics. All right, so one piece that I wanted to bring to your attention is that when we're doing word problems, we want to be really careful and mindful of the wording that's in each problem that's really going to help us understand what type of bar model we can draw to really help us solve the problem. So we've seen this first problem before. It says Tian has 56 paper clips. He gives three fourths of them to Joe. So this problem, I really want to annotate and understand that I actually have a total here, right? So my 56 paper clips, I know that that is a total. So when I draw my bar model, I'm actually going to have a total here that says 56. And now this second part of the problem, it says he gives third, three fourths of them to Joe. So I know that I can divide this. And up here, I'll say that three fourths went to Joe. Since I have my total, I can divide 56 by four, since that's how many bars I had. Oops, not by six, by four. And know that in each bar is going to be worth 14. So I can actually be putting numbers into each bar. And I know that Joe has 14 times three. He actually has 42. Joe has 42 paper clips all together. So this is the type of bar model that if I have a total, I'm gonna write what each bar is worth inside. But now if we look at this second problem, and I'll draw a line here, it says that Keith spends one sixth of his savings on a magazine and two fifths of the remainder on a book. We should really be queuing in and highlighting, underlining, boxing that word remainder because that's totally gonna to affect how we draw our bar model. So for this bar model, I know that Keith spent one sixth of his savings on a magazine. So if I divide my bar into sixths, because actually I should annotate that, one sixth is really important. One sixth is right here. And I know that he spent it on a magazine. So I'm gonna put an M above the one sixth. But guess what? He spent two fifths of the remainder. So now I'm only gonna look at my remaining boxes of which I have one, two, three, four, five. Well, that actually matches this denominator. So I know that two of these fifths he spent on a book. So I'm gonna put a B and a B for a book. Now, a lot of you would write that these two boxes are two fifths, but guys, it's not two fifths. It's actually two sixths because we have to think about the whole bar model. So now, we look back at our question, we wanna annotate what fraction of the savings is left. One, two, three. He has three sixths left, which is equal to one half. So for this type of problem, if it says anything like the remainder or the rest, we wanna be really careful to that. And in this last problem, it says Tony is given nine tenths of an hour to mow a lawn. So immediately, right away, I might draw Four. I'm gonna draw my bar model. It has 10 parts. He's given nine tenths of an hour. So that's the time that he's given, are those nine tenths. He only uses two thirds of them to mow the lawn. Well, hold on. Of the nine that he's given, if he only used two thirds of them, let me think about this for a second. Two thirds, and I know I have nine boxes, if I multiply by two, if he used two thirds, that means he used six boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so let me hold on and think about it. This is the time that he did use. But their question is, how much time does he have left? Well, we know what he has left if he used two thirds that means he has one third left. These three boxes that he has left, those were the three ninths or the one third that he didn't use. Well, if we wanna know what time is left, we could say, well, what's one third of the nine tenths of an hour? And if we do this math, we would find that he actually has 
9 thirtieths of an hour left, but we need to simplify. We need to divide by 3, so he would actually end up with 3 tenths of an hour left over. So friends, be super mindful when you're doing these types of problems. What type of bar model should you draw? What information is the problem giving you, and how can that help you draw a bar model? Good luck.